Good morning. My name is Frank F. Church. I'm coming to you from the First Baptist Church of Crossroads this morning. Uh, we're going to be looking at a, a message that uh, the prophet Isaiah uh, spoke to Jerusalem and Judah uh, uh, years, several years before uh, the fall of uh, the southern kingdom to the nation of Babylon. Uh, there's some things that, that we know about our God uh, first of all, our God is a just God. Uh, he does justly in everything he does. Uh, our God is a, a keeper of covenants. Uh, God never breaks a promise, never breaks a covenant. Uh, our God is a consistent God. What was sin in the days of Israel is sin in the days of America today. Uh, God doesn't change his mind on sin, regardless of what man thinks, regardless of how man evolves. God never changes his mind on sin. What he said in the beginning, he means in the end. So we're going to look at what Isaiah uh, said to Judah and Jerusalem. Because of uh, their sin, they were in danger uh, of judgment. The judgment was to come from the nation of Babylon. And uh, Babylon was a wicked nation. Uh, far more wicked than Israel, but God uh, was going to use them uh, to judge Israel. Now, I want us to look this morning as Isaiah uh, accuses Israel, uh, points out their sin. Now, I want you to remember something. Now, I'm not saying this. This is what, this is what Isaiah said to uh, J Jerusalem and Judah. I believe it. I, I, I believe it's still uh, applicable for today. I believe God sees uh, a sin the same way today as he did in the days, early days of Israel. Uh, we're going to read some here. He said, For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole staff of water. What Isaiah is telling Israel, you're fixing to suffer. Uh, you're not, God's going to take away the food, He's going to take away the water. Uh, you're in, you're in line for judgment. Uh, we know the one thing that uh, uh, staves off judgment is repentance. Uh, so Isaiah is speaking to Israel. He said, The mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet, and the prudent and the ancient. Uh, when judgment comes, uh, no man's exempt. Uh, I mean, when it rains on the just, it rains on the unjust, and vice versa. When hard times fall on the unjust, they fall on the uh, just also. Uh, the mighty man, uh, the uh, captain of 50, and the honorable man, and the counselor, and the cunning art artificer, and the eloquent order, uh, orator. So uh, no one's exempt when God uh, judges uh, a nation. And I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. <coughs> uh, a rise of, of younger, uh, a younger generation to take control. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. And the child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, and the base against the honorable. So uh, we see it's going to be a time of confusion. Uh, a time of uh, where uh, young people arise and are not obedient. Then it says, When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, Thou hast clothing, be thy ruler, and let, us ruin, un, uh, let this ruin be under thy hand. In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be an healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. So <clears throat> we see that it's going to be a time of suffering for all of uh, Israel, all of Judah and Jerusalem. Now, uh, let's listen to what God accuses uh, uh, Jerusalem and Israel of. Uh, folks, we need to look at this. We need to, we need to see the mistakes in America and things need to change. He said, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. Folks, there's so much going on in America that is against the Lord. He said, the show of their countenance doth witness against them. 
listen, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Folks, that's what God said. That's, don't, don't call, uh, get angry at me. Uh, I believe it, uh, but uh, that's what God said. They declare their sins as Sodom. Uh, folks, uh, we've seen a man running for president being kissed by his husband on television, nationwide television, not hidden, not ashamed of it, proud of it. Folks, I want to tell you something. God looks at Sodom today just as exactly like he did when he burned it. Uh, God doesn't change. He said uh, they, their doings are against the Lord. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Now, you listen to what God said. Uh, you don't have to pay any attention to me, but folks, I read that right out of the Bible, and that was inspired by God for Isaiah to tell Judah and Jerusalem. Look like we got some of the same problems they had. Uh, sin is, uh, people are proud of things uh, that God detests. Okay, let's look on. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be with him for the reward Ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Now, uh, folks, I, I think when really suffering comes, everybody suffers. Uh, God uh, protects the righteous, provides for them through the suffering. Doesn't mean they doesn't suffer. It means that God's there to see them through. Uh, he did that so many times in, in Israel, with Israel. Uh, when they come from the wilderness journey, uh, everybody suffered. Uh, they, had, they didn't have what they wanted to eat. They didn't have water to drink at times. But God always provided. Uh, he killed a whole generation in the wilderness in that 40 years. Okay, he said uh, in verse 12. Now listen, listen to this, people. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Now, folks, I, I want to tell you, according to God's word, it was never intended for women to rule governments. You say, well, Brother Frank, you're prejudiced. No, I'm not prejudiced. I love my wife. My wife, is, is uh, uh, she's everything to me. Uh, she's the best friend I got. But it never was intended for women to rule over men. Uh, look at our government today. Uh, just look at it. Where would we be if Hillary Clinton were ruling? Uh, who's the biggest opposition we have in Washington, D.C. today? It's Nancy Pelosi. And the four women, uh, Muslim women, who are, are children. They're younger. They're younger than my children. And they're oppressors. Uh, they want to uh, destroy the Constitution of America and ruin our country. Uh, folks, it never was intended. God didn't intend for women to rule nations. Uh, you say, well, Brother Frank, you're wrong. But I'm just telling you what God said. He said, women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy past. Folks, what happened to Jerusalem? Uh, what, what, what happened uh, years later when Babylon came? They destroyed Israel. They destroyed the temple. They burned Jerusalem. Uh, many people died. The younger uh, that were worth anything were carried to uh, Babylon captive. Uh, why? Uh, Jezebel was one of those women that ruled over Israel, uh, ruled over her husband, said, The Lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge thy people. These were the accusations he made against them. Folks, we're going down the same road. Uh, we can say what we want to, but America's going down the same path that Israel went down. Uh, we, uh, uh, the uh, sin is rampant. Uh, drug abuse, uh, all that stuff is rampant. 
uh, women are taking over our courts, our uh, uh, Senate seats, our uh, in Congress. Uh, folks, it wasn't intended by God for things to be like that. I said, the Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof, for he have for ye have eaten up the vineyard. The spoil of the poor is in your houses. Uh, taking advantage of the poor. Folks, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, there are people that make millions of dollars that don't pay as much taxes as some people that uh, are living on uh, a meager income. Uh, things are not right. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord of hosts, taking advantage of the poor. Uh, there's, there's always somebody out there trying to take advantage of somebody, rich or poor. Uh, just anything they can get for nothing uh, is, uh, it's all right. Folks, it's not all right in the eyes of God. Man's going to pay for it. I'm telling you, man's going to pay for it. More, uh, moreover, now uh, listen, uh, folks. Uh, uh, my wife doesn't have to have uh, a whole bunch of jewelry and a whole bunch of uh, uh, fancy things to be beautiful to me. Uh, uh, she's just as pretty early in the morning when she wakes up as she is when she gets dressed to go to church. He said, Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Folks, the women were out of place in, in, in Jerusalem, in Israel. Now listen, in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crispin pins the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be a stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well-set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Folks, pride and, and arrogance and trying to look better than everybody else and be something uh, that that everybody looks at is uh, it, that that's no good in the eyes of God. And we're talking about what God said. We're not we're not talking about uh, what Isaiah thought. We're not talking about uh, what I think or anybody else thinks. We're talking about what God thinks. This is what God told Isaiah to tell Israel, His chosen people, the men, thy men shall fall by the sword and the mighty in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and be and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. Folks, uh, there was a very harsh and troubling message that Isaiah sent to, to Judah and Jerusalem. But folks, do you realize how close that is to the way America is today? We're going down the same path. And like I said in the beginning, God is a just God. God is an unchangeable God. God is a loving God. But folks, God said, my spirit will not strive with man always. It was years and years after Isaiah prophesied this before Judah and Jerusalem were destroyed. Uh, good King Josiah brought some revival and and it was put off, but uh, uh, folks, when it came, it was harsh. And it's going to be harsh when it comes to America. I think the coronavirus is just a drop in the bucket, folks, to what we'll face in the future if we don't get things right. Uh, I'm proud that, that uh, President Trump uh, is uh, standing up to 
open churches. Uh, folks, we, we never did close our church. We uh, uh, didn't have very many, but we had a service every Sunday and every Sunday night and every Wednesday night. Not trying to be rebellious, just feel like that, that that's what God intended for us to do. It's what God called us to do. And uh, we'll can continue uh, to have church at First Baptist Church at Crossroads as long as I'm pastor, and that may not be too much longer. Uh, getting a little long in the tooth, and uh, uh, we never know what tomorrow holds. But folks, it's, it's really comforting to know who holds tomorrow. Uh, I invite you, uh, if you're uh, not going to church anywhere or uh, you feel like you need a change, uh, uh, you're welcome at Crossroads. We're not a bunch of bells and whistles. We don't have a bunch of uh, loud uh, uh, contemporary music. Uh, in fact, sometimes our music is kind of uh, not, not very uh, good. It just comes from the heart. It's not very entertaining. It just comes from the heart. So uh, I'd like to close this morning in prayer and leave you uh, with this word and ask you to go back and take the third chapter of Isaiah and study it and read it and read it with an open mind and you'll see uh, how God is and what God will do. Let us pray. Uh, Father Lord, we thank you for another day. It's been some, We've had some beautiful weather this week. And we've had... Uh, a lot of blessings, Lord. We thank you for the provision that you make in our life each and every day, including the provision of life, for we know you hold life in your hands, and we know we have an appointed time, and uh, Lord, we certainly know we don't know when that time is, but we just trust you, uh, Lord, to take care of us. Uh, Father, we ask you to be with each church uh, Sunday morning that's uh, in worship and pray uh, that your name will be lifted up uh, Father, we have no reason, no purpose to be in church other than to worship you. Uh, Lord, we ask you to forgive us where we fail you. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.